Hello, this is Daniel Mart, and today I'm going to be doing another comic book haul. So, yeah, let's just get into this. So, the first of four comics I have are, I want to say kind of interesting, I, I suppose. Um, I I have maybe two of these already, I'm not sure, maybe, not sure. But basically, my sister was cleaning out her room. And she had a couple of these. She had. She has like very few comics. Just these four. She was just cleaning out her room, and she just like didn't want them anymore. So, I'm, which I was kind of surprised, given what type of comic they are. But whatever. She just didn't want them anymore, so she kind of just gave them to me. So I'm like, ah, whatever. And they are SpongeBob number thirty-one, number forty, forty-two. Can you see that? So you have 40, thirty-one, forty, forty-two. And 35, so 31, 35, 40, 42, so yeah, pretty interesting, I suppose. Um, I have I, may, I have two of these, I think, already, but I'm like, whatever, screw it. Spongebob, whatever. I mean, they're good, so yeah. So yeah. now on to what I actually got from my comic book shop. So, first off, Walking Dead number 159. Pretty pretty awesome. Brutal, what happened in this in this issue. Scooby-Doo Apocalypse, or Scooby-Apocalypse, issue 4 and 5. So, here's number 4. Here's number 5. Pretty interesting story here. I'm a huge fan of Scooby-Doo, so it's pretty interesting. They kind of took a zombie apocalypse. Kind of, It's kind of zombie apocalypse. But yeah, like Scooby Doo and the Zombie Apocalypse, you know, I kind of modernized them. Pretty interesting to be to say the least. Um, you know, new character aspects. Um, yeah, the, the new character aspects are pretty interesting to say the least. Um, I don't necessarily agree with some of the decisions they make, but I kind of do see where the where it's kind of going with. Like, I don't really agree with some of the character decisions they're making. Like how like how they act. Like for uh, for the most part, they are. They're, you know, themselves, like, you know, Velma's smart, Shaggy is hungry, uh, what's his face, Freddy, Fred is brave, and, um, she's, you know, kind of, she's, she's, you know, she's kind of just there, some, I don't know, uh, I don't really know how to explain, I mean, there are some things I agree with, there's some things I don't really agree with, it, but still inter an interesting story, and Scooby-Doo is pretty funny as a whole, more badass, um, next up, I picked up this, uh, Marvel custom edition thing, for um, real heroes of Hollywood, some BET thing. So what is that? Black Entertainment Television, whatever. Um, first off, this this guy looks Asian, but whatever. But it's pretty cool. At first, I thought it was a poster, but it turned out to be a comic book of sorts, and it's pretty cool because it kind of expands into a poster. So I got two of these. Um, you know, just something, a little something, whatever. It looks pretty cool in my opinion. Um, so yeah. Next up, I got the conspiracy number one preview thing, Marvel free previews, the clone conspiracy, you know whatever. Um, then you know that the one dollar um, issues or actually fifty cent issues. Um, yeah, these are like fifty cent issues, so get ready for that. So in the vein of Halloween, I picked up Joe Frankenstein because Frankenstein it's number three. So yeah. Um, next up, I picked up Rot and Ruin number one. Two, what is yeah, number two, number, what is this, number three, and number five, they didn't have number four, so I just got one, two, three, and five, um, number five, the cover for it looks awesome in my opinion, so, yeah, I mean, this is the one that want, wanted me to get the rest of the issues, um, I'll read it, and, you know, maybe see if I could find number four in the future, and see how long, this series is. I mean, the inside is also pretty cool. I, I suppose I like the cover better. I like the covers better, but the inside is also pretty cool. Um, next up, I picked up the Shrinking Man number one, number two. Yeah, number two, three. Actually, that yeah, that's three and four. Um, another you know series. The covers are pretty cool in my opinion, kind of simplistic, but I do like the style of it, so there's that. Next up, um, Black Widow number one. 
the Cage Heroes number issue one and two. So I got the first two issues. Fifty cents, why not? Um, zombies versus robots number three and number eight. Again, I'm a supper. Supper. I'm a sucker for zombies, so yeah, why not? And it's kind of this this cover kind of reminds me of like the gorillas. I mean, both of them kind of remind me of the gorillas, like the bands gorillas. Um, I'm, it's just it can't just be me. Like the guy, he looks like the the gorillas, like the mem the band members from gorillas. I mean, I know they're animated, but still, if you know what I mean, um, yeah, they kind of re look like the gorilla band members, gorillas. You know, if you don't know who they are, they did, you know, Feel Good Inc. and Clint Eastwood, um, the songs. So, yeah, definitely check them out. They're pretty good. So, yeah. Next up, I picked up... What is this? Okay, yeah. Drones, number one. Number two and number three. So, here's number two. Number three. And they had, like, several different covers of this. Like, four different covers for each, every single issue. I just got the one I preferred. Um, so... Yeah, I mean, if I like the stories, the story enough, maybe I'll pick up all the variant covers. But at the moment, those are my favorite covers out of three of them, or for each one. Uh, next up, what is this? Okay, Empire Uprising number one and number two. So yeah, this is basically the biggest, the big theme. Am I for this haul? If you know, if one and twos, you know, if they're from a set or like mini series or whatever, just got them, get them. I mean, they're fifty cents, so why not? Um, yeah. Next up, I got Clarion, number one, and number two. Um, yeah, pretty cool in my opinion. DC, why not? Um, I read part of this. It was interesting, to say the least. Um, uh, but, whatever. Next up, I picked up, now this one was pretty cool. Um, America Town, number one. Two, three. Can you see all three of them? And then number four here, and it's an eight-issue miniseries, or from what it seems, I only I only found the first four. But it looks pretty cool in my opinion. Like the, even the inside artwork, pretty interesting. Um, haven't read anything about it. I just kind of flipped through the pages. But if I had to take a guess, something about like consumerism or some shit like that, um, or like government control. No, no. So I'm gonna satire on that. Now. This is funny right here. Um, these ne next couple of books. Uh, and they are... Now, I picked up um, Dave, or D D4V. Dave numbers 2. Yes, and you heard that right. 2, 3, 4. Let me see if I can scoot that. That's 2. Yeah. 2. Screw it. 3. Four and then five is right here, right there. So two, three, four, and five. And I thought I picked up issue number one, and I'm gonna show you why I thought that in a second. So I guess there's it's like a two vol, like separate volumes or whatever. Cause I picked up two, three, four, and five, and then I picked up Dave two issue number one. So that's why I thought they were from the. Se I mean, technically, I guess they are from the same series, but this isn't from the same volume, if you know what I mean. So. Yeah, I was kind of, and also when I even picked it up, I was I was wondering like why is the artwork here different from like the artwork here? And then I, the only thing I could come up with was subscription covers. They also had subscription covers, but then I also saw on the bottom subscription cover subs. So you know, I'm assuming the same thing, subscription covers. So I didn't really get it until like I actually got home and saw. Oh wait, this has two. So I'm like, ah, fuck it. Um, if I see number one for Dave, sure I'll pick it up. Um, next up, oh, pretty interesting, I just picked, I picked this one up because the cover looked pretty cool, and that is, um, Creature Cops Special Varmint, is that it, is Creature Cops, yeah, okay, Creature Cops Special Varmint Unit, I need to make sure, because the, because the title is kind of covered because the, this thing's wings. So yeah, um, pretty. I mean, I picked it up because it's covered. Basically, um, pretty cool in my opinion. And I mean, that's basically. I picked it up because it cover. Um, something I really. I'm about to say because it's also going to show with the next book I show you. I like artwork from like um, 
it kind of reminds me of Dynamite artwork, like from Dynamite Comics. Um, it kind of reminds me of that type of artwork. And the next book I picked up is The Spirit, um, number three. So Will Eisner's Spirit, number three. Pretty cool. And I just love um, the uh, Dynamite artwork. Every time I see an issue of The Spirit, The Phantom, Zorro, or whatever else they have, um, The Shadow... No, I always tend to pick it up. Um, they had the fan, the Phantom, um, the Phantom, min um, not mini series. Um, they they had this Phantom, um, comic book series, comic book run at the moment, and I kind of dropped it to be honest, mostly because I straight up forgot about it. Um, I I think I only got the first three issues and that's it. Um, which is, in and of itself, it is a bit a bit of shame because the story was decent enough. I just it's one of those things like unless it comes out in a monthly basis i'm probably gonna forget about it. like unless the story's like super good and given the fact that it was about six months and i only had three issues you know whatever but you know i just love this i'm even even after that those comics are probably gonna end up in like the 50 dollar 50 cent um bin by next year so i could just get them pretty cheap so yeah but i just love like the spirit or the shadow artwork um actually speaking of which i also did pick up a the, um the shadow year one so yeah dynamite number five um Again, I just love the set of artwork. Um, it looks cool in my opinion. It's refreshing. It's just great. Um, in my opinion, I just it, it's it's awesome in my opinion. And yeah, and then Creature Cops kind of reminded me of the artwork from there. I mean, it's just great. Um, I just like the the style of it. And yeah, and now last but not least, it's kind of it's a one shot comic, so that's part of the reason why I got it. It's kind of it's kind of fucking weird. But basically, Smiley. This, what the fuck is this? Smiley the Psychotic Button. It's a Chaos Dynamite crossover event, I suppose. But yeah, what the fuck? I mean, it's a one shot. So yeah, but I mean, I saw the cover for this, I'm like, that's fucking hilarious. So, yeah, it's basically my haul for this type, uh, for this week. Uh, this is great, in my opinion. And, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, subscribe. I do movie reviews, TV show reviews, and comic book calls, and comic book reviews when I get the time to do them. Aside from that, you know, just subscribe, comment down below on your thoughts on these comics, you know, which, what's your favorite one, and what are your thoughts on, like, Dynamite Comics and their artwork? I, I feel like they're great, in my opinion. What are your thoughts on this? Like, what the fuck? Um, yeah, I mean, just so, it's great, in my opinion. So, yeah, what are your thoughts on that? And aside from that, um, yeah, subscribe, comment down below, like the video, share on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, or whatever you guys prefer. And that's basically it for now. This is Daniel Mart signing off.